What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today I've got some pretty exciting news for you. Apparently, Pixelogic has announced a new line of ZBrush. Uh, it's called ZBrush Core, and we don't know a whole lot about it right now. Uh, it was announced uh, today, and uh, let's go ahead and head over to Pixelogic's site. Uh, they're going to be unveiling more of it uh, at the ZBrush Summit that's going to happen later this month on the 30th. Now, uh, we can have a look at some of the things uh, that they're displaying here on the screen and see what we can notice is difference uh, based on what we're able to see. So I'm going to have a look at uh, a little blown up version of this and uh, just see what we can see here. It looks like uh, they've eliminated some of the palettes that are available to us. Uh, I don't see... Uh, I don't see a movie palette. I don't see a macro palette. Let's uh, let's have a look over at ZBrush real quick. So in in the current version of 4R7, we have a lot of other things that are going on for us. We've got you know uh, the movie palette, which allows you to create turntables and and other things. Now it, it's possible that some of this stuff might be hidden elsewhere in this core version, but I'm not sure. They'll they'll tell us more whenever it comes along. Uh, but you know, uh, markers gone, macros gone. Uh, let's see what else we have over here. It would make sense that they would keep the stroke palette, yeah. So it looks like they've just removed some some less than necessary palettes or probably things that just aren't being used anymore uh, just because they're just not being used, right? But it seems to have the essentials. You got your alpha brush, color, uh, your document, draw, edit, file, light, material, your preferences, obviously, you need those. Uh, your render settings and all the all the stuff. So basically, as it says, it is core, and so this is basically everything that you need to be able to use ZBrush, right? Um, so I don't know. It you can see here, uh, it is running at a 64-bit version. I don't know if they're going to be running a 32-bit version. Uh, you know, whenever 4R7 came out. It was it, it came with the option to have a 64-bit version, but they weren't supporting it. They were still mainly supporting the 32-bit version. So it's entirely possible that um, that it may only be for 64-bit, but uh, it doesn't mean that they won't support a 32-bit version. Now you know if you if you've been working with ZBrush for a while, or if you're familiar with uh, Pixel Logic. Uh, years ago, they had uh, a program called Sculptress, and I believe it's still available through uh, through the Pixelogic website. You just got to do a little digging for it. In fact, let's let's see if we go over to Download Center. Sometimes it'll be down here. Um, yep, there we go. So if you're looking for something free uh, and you just want to do some sculpting, you can definitely hit up Sculptress. It's completely free. Uh, I have heard that uh, Wacom is actually Wacom, 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 whatever you want to call it. Uh, they they have some sort of bundle system that they've got set up with uh, ZBrush Core. So if they're including uh, ZBrush Core with their with their Intuos systems or or their Cintiqs or something like that, then I can't imagine that uh, this version of ZBrush is going to be too taxing on you. Uh, I don't imagine it's going to be completely free. But it, uh, it sounds like it might be something that's uh, a little more affordable for somebody that's just trying to get in there, right? So uh, as we come across more information about this, uh, we'll definitely let you know. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned for the ZBrush Summit that's going to be happening later this month. And uh, happy ZBrushing, guys. Take care.